What is up my fellow Bloons and Joyers, it's your boy Shadow here and today we are looking at the pre-release notes for update 43 in BTD6. Ninja Kiwi was kind enough to provide us with a pre-release video so we're going to be looking at that today but the first change and the biggest is the addition of a new hero, Rosalia. Anyway, first look at the new hero, all I can say is... <coughs> God damn. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused brothers, we must stay focused. Anyway guys, with that being said, let's jump into the Ninja Kiwi video and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Bloons content. Rosalia can reposition in a moment as she freely jumps around her large workshop area. Her attack speed increases when there are more Bloons nearby while swapping between a powerful single target laser and bouncing cluster grenades to deal with different threats. Alright then, faster attack speed with more Bloons is definitely interesting. It's like the Avatar of Wrath except attack speed instead of damage. Cool mechanic, can't wait to see it. She also has enhanced special attacks for the 10th shot fired on either weapon. Showering balloons in a fog of explosions are shocking and pushing them back with powerful plasma blasts. Okay, so it didn't show what level Rosalia was at in this one, but it looks like the laser does 5 damage, so that's pretty respectable, especially if that's at a lower level. It looks like it can't pop lead, though I'll have to keep that in mind in my strategies. Rosalia can also wreak devastation on the balloons with three awesome abilities. First is Scatter Missile, which enables Rosalia's workshop to launch a missile that rains destruction from above. Second is the Flight Boost ability which enables all nearby aircraft to fly faster for a short time while Rosalia pursues balloons across the whole map using both of her weapons. Lastly, we have the Kinetic Charge ability, where the charge attaches to a balloon, harnesses energy when the target takes damage, then releases the energy in the form of a huge detonation. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty sweet abilities. I'm not sure how useful the second one will be, but actually now that I think about it, it'll be super useful because maybe now an Apache Prime will finally be able to keep up with DDTs when this is active. The third ability looks pretty good too, I mean it blew up a MOAB so that's a good sign. You can try out Rosalia right away and check out her strengths and abilities in the new Tinkerer's Tutorial Quest. Once unlocked you can put her to the test in the brand new beginner map, Tinkerton. Okay guys, first off, I keep forgetting the hero tutorial quests are a thing, I think I haven't even done like half of them yet, I mean they reward powers which I don't even use those that much anyway so yeah. Also, you guys know exactly what I'm going to do with the new update drops. I'm talking new map, new hero, three tower chimps, combine it all into one for the ultimate Bloons YouTuber experience. Next up, we're introducing a brand new event, Boss Rush. Band together with allies to defend against the powerful Boss Rush threatening your team. With multiple boss threats looming on the horizon, you and your team must work together to defend nearby islands from the invading threats. And these bosses cannot be destroyed alone. When defending any island, your goal is to deal as much damage as you possibly can before they make it past. When the team reaches enough combined total damage, the island will be successfully defended and they can progress to the next, with a new boss to defend against. Defend 5 milestone islands, each with a fast paced boss challenge against different bosses out of the 3 available. Okay guys, first off, I don't know why Sam has to talk so quietly in the Ninja Kiwi vid, like I have him turned up all the way up in mixing and he's still stupidly quiet, so I apologize. Also, the boss rush thing looks kind of like contested territory, and I have never played contested territory in my life in this game, but if you guys really want to see me do boss rush, make sure to let me know in the comments and DM me on Discord and maybe we can form a team or something. Moving on to some shiny new trophy store items now, including a BAD Scarab skin. Holy crap, I don't usually get trophy store items, but dang, those BTD Scarabs look actually so cool. I'm definitely going to have to get those. Y'all going to see them in future videos. Those things are sweet. In this update, we've also introduced an awesome new code redemption system. This new system will allow us to create gift packs that can be redeemed by anyone with the code for free in-game rewards. So keep an eye out for any codes that we may share or hide in the future. I mean, there's definitely not one hidden anywhere in this video. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Okay, not gonna lie, the new code redemption system sounds really nice. Make sure to keep watching my community tab because whenever I find a code, I will be reposting it. So make sure to look out for that. Anyway guys, looks like that's pretty much it for this update. I'll definitely be making another video once it actually drops, so make sure to look out for that. Anyway guys, I gotta go grind some monkey money because I'm currently flat broke for some reason. If you're still watching, you're an absolute legend and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to use my creator code to help support me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.